Hi guys, it's time to dip in the iMedia toolbox again and today we're going to be looking at mood boards. I'm going to be making these on PowerPoint. We have a full set of PowerPoint tutorials on how to make a mood board on PowerPoint. That's just one choice. You can choose whatever software you like to make a mood board, but there are some key elements that we're going to discuss today. So just as a recap, a mood board is a quick way of generating ideas. And this forms part of the design concepts and the suggested ideas are concept sketches, mood board and mind map. And on the marking criteria, we go from limited to adequate to fully, which we'll discuss in a minute. So, again, we have this full set of tutorials on how to make a mood board on PowerPoint. This is the finished product on the left hand side. But the general idea with a mood board is you have a variety of graphics and photos. Some people might say, what's the difference between a graphic and a photo? Well, a photograph is a picture that's been taken with a camera, whereas a graphic is an image that's been made on a computer. So if you look at the Strava logo, that's a graphic made on a computer, whereas the man running on a felt has been taken with a camera. That's the difference. And fonts, different style of fonts. So if you look at the fonts I've used on this particular mood board, the slanting forwards a little bit, the tilting, to give the illusion of running and speed. And I've picked fonts which I thought would be nice or might be nice to use on this particular project. And we have a colour palette as well. So suggested colours, green for running around forests, looking at the blue skies as you run. Red is a colour which is easy for the eye to catch, which is highly visible. That's part, it forms part, part of the colour scheme of the company that I'm going to be choosing. And yellow is high vis, so that's a good colour again for running. So, just a look at three mood boards here. So again, if we go to the bottom mark band and something is limited, it's restricted. And if you look at this mood board, what generally is not liked on mood boards is gaps in between the photos. They like a bit of a funky layout and overlap of pictures together, which isn't there at the moment. Also, it's about appropriateness. So is a muscly bodybuilder appropriate to a running mood board? Probably not. There's no color palette in the corner, so we're missing a color palette. There's one font. That's not great. You probably do with a variety of fonts which would make it much better and also if you look at these two pictures here there's one two three running pictures but we have a bodybuilder a lady swinging on a lamp for absolutely oh i don't know why she'd want to do that and also somebody with a bike as well so it's not completely appropriate for purpose so if we move on to mood board number two and this is adequate, which is satisfactory or acceptable. So if you start looking at this one, the vast majority, most of the pictures are something to do with running. There's one, again, with a cyclist. So there's one that's not appropriate, but on the whole, it's pretty good. There's photographs and graphics mixed together. There's a couple of fonts, but there's no color palette. So it's better in the basic version, number one, but it's adequate or satisfactory or acceptable, but it probably could be a little bit better than this. Which brings us into more mood board number three, which is fully suitable and right or appropriate. So you've got a variety of fonts, keywords to do with running, all the pictures are appropriate and so are the graphics and you've also got a colour palette. So that's a very rough guide from Mark Band 1 to Mark Band 2 to Mark Band 3 on the quality we're looking at. And if we go to the ultimate knowledge organizer, if you take this two-sided printed sheet into your coursework and look in the bottom left-hand corner, it just gives you a little reminder of the key elements that we'd like to see in a mood board when you make that. So, hope you've enjoyed this. Get making your mood boards and I'll catch up with you in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching.